What's up everybody and welcome back to another 100 runs video. Today we are going over my loot from 100 runs of Wailing Caverns. I've been putting this one off because after I finished running my 100 runs of it, I could not fathom even talking about Wailing Caverns. I uh, got very, very sick of that dungeon by the end there. But we finished, we finished. So without further ado, let's go over our loot so we don't have to talk about Wailing Caverns for a while. So the best item out of Wailing Caverns, and that there isn't really anything crazy, which is why this dungeon is a little bit disappointing, right? So in a lot of them, like for Scarlet, in Scarlet Monastery, for example, there are lots of dungeon-specific loos that are worth high value, right? Worth a ton of gold. Whereas in Wailing Caverns, there really is not any dungeon-specific loo that will, like if you get it, you're just like, wow, this is awesome. This really up my gold per hour. Here, it was just a lot of like okay-ish greens. The one thing that you can get in Wailing Caverns that you can't get elsewhere would be this Deviate Hatchling, and we actually were lucky enough to receive five of them. It is about a 6k region market, 0.01 sell rate though, so that will take a while. The only positive of that is you can cage it and uncage it and sell those both. So you have double the chance basically to sell it. I received the Swiftness Potion, 0.09 sell rate. That's really the only reason why I'm calling it out is because you're kind of, you're going to see this pattern here where a lot of the items, despite them just being in that like two to 5k range, they're actually, their sell rate is very, very, very high, right? Compared to your normal transmog, transmog which really kind of hovers around that 0.01 to 0.02 sell rate. And you're kind of happy if you get 0.03. Here, as we go over it, you're going to kind of see that pattern of it's being, it, it's much higher than it normally would be, right? So for example, right here, this quartz ring is 0 0.03 and it's 11.8k region. And this one actually will sell for that much because it is a level 15, because there is always going to be one treasure chest up in Wailing Caverns and it, it generally drops a ring or some sort of green where it's, it's that low level, like level 15 stuff. So it actually will sell because people are at that level and they want to buy that, right? And same with this other ring here. It's not quite as high, 7.6K, but it does have decent sell rate as well, 0 0.02. I received four of these Prospector boots, 0 0.04 sell rate, 2.5K. Um, let's see, Spiked Chain Cloak. I think this is our lowest sell rate wise. It's 0 0.01, 5.6K. I received five of these barbaric loincloths, 14K and a 0 0.04 sell rate. So I'm very, very happy with that set right there. I received two of this ceremonial leather loincloth, 0 0.05 sell rate. So that's even better and 12.4K region. A lot of these other ones are just okay. Prospector Woolies, 4K, 0 0.03 sell rate. I received four of these prospector mitts, 0 0.03 sell rate as well. Let's see, ceremonial leather harness, 0 0.04 sell rate, 4K. Just a lot of okay-ish at best. Barbaric cloth robe, 0 0.03, 7.4K region. And I think probably the other two that are nice are these ones right here, barbaric cloth vest, 0 0.03 region sell, and then 6K region market. And this one here, grizzly jerkin of whatever, whatever the, the last bit is 0 0.03 and 9.5 K. So like I said, you can, you can kind of see like all of these sell, like the, they sell faster than others, but in the end, let's, you know what, instead of just talking about how I didn't get anything good gold wise, let's use our macro real quick and see for ourselves. So in my 100 runs, I ended up with 279k. So that's about 27k per hour, which is I think the worst we've encountered so far to be honest. It's kind of terrible. I mean, so a lot of the stuff the benefit is is going to sell faster and I don't believe there are a whole lot of other dungeons that have all of these other like I I don't think there are a whole lot that have like the barbaric loincloth or ceremonial but at the same time, is Wailing Caverns really worth it? Is it really worth that pain? I don't think I could have gotten any luckier. Like, I think I got all of the loot that I could have gotten out of it. And it's not like, it's not like I got bad stuff. Just there's nothing, like I said, nothing crazy, crazy high there. So 27k, I, 
gosh, I don't, I don't think I would recommend anyone go run this a hundred times, but maybe go in there and get yourself, get yourself like, like I said, the barbaric loin cloth, like get yourself some of that stuff, but don't run whaling caverns to the point where you're sick of it. Like I did, like by no means is it worth it. You'll, it's nice to have up on the auction house. And I, I do recommend that you run it at least 10 times. Go in there. It, it's really, it's not bad. You just follow the, the dungeon itself. Right. And we will put out a, vi- a guide at some point and I will link it when I have it. But until then, I like I said, run it 10 times and then don't worry about it for a while. Let all of that stuff sell. Don't run this over and over expecting to get something really good from it because you're just going to get okay-ish stuff, right? So 27k per hour is nothing to write home about, especially when it does take about six minutes per run. It's not one of those dungeons like, like Scarlet Monastery, right, where it only takes about three minutes per run. It takes a full six minutes. But that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to run loot appraiser challenges with me, I actually run them five times a week on my stream. It is under the same name, Sea Thrift, and it will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this, then please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell button for alerts on all new content. And I believe that's it. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time, guys. Bye.